Welcome back. Let's examine another aspect of complexity, this time in the laws of Lashon Hara. The Chavetz Chaim tells us that if you hear that someone wants to harm you or to damage you, you are allowed, and in fact you're supposed to be suspicious, what's called lachush. The Chavetz Chaim says, what does that mean? That means you don't believe this information is a fact, but at the same time you take steps to protect yourself. While you're taking steps to protect yourself, meaning if someone told you that so-and-so wants to assassinate you, you hire a bodyguard and get bulletproof clothes. Nonetheless, you shouldn't even view that person with a doubt that he's not a good kosher Jew. That's his chazaka. That's his default status, and that has not been shaken. Despite the fact that you have to take those steps, even to the extent that if the person needs you to do him a favor, it's a type of favor that you would have to do to another good kosher Jew. You do that favor. So on one hand, you're protecting yourself from this person who's a threat. On the other hand, he asks you for a loan of money. He asks you if he can come to you for a Shabbos meal, as long as that won't put you in danger. So you're obligated to do the same good things you would to any other kosher Jew because that's the status that you have to view him with, even though you're also taking the steps to protect yourself. Only a person who absorbs the complexity of Torah can do that dance in the proper way.